original Mr. Freestyle to tell you how it started. My friend and I used to ride our bicycles in the skateboard parks right. when skateboarding was very big in California. And um, we used to ride our bicycles in there and we'd learn tricks. We'd try to duplicate what the skaters did on their bicycles, I mean, on their skateboards, we did yeah. it on our bicycles. Uh, about three years ago, we started doing uh, freestyle equipment. I was doing freestyle riding. No one really had a, a bike actually made for this, so I decided I'd come up with one. One of the main things is the type of wheels. We run a plastic style wheel, and the reason is, is it takes a lot more abuse than the alloy or aluminum wheels and we run special tires. We run more of a street tread style tire. This works very good because we're riding on tarmac or asphalt or something like this and it works very good. Uh, other things, we run a lot of brakes. I've got front and rear hand brakes. I've got uh, a rear kick brake, which is like the old style coaster brakes, which we used to have on our paper bikes back home. And uh, those are some of the things. And, and the, the brakes this way, let the bike roll forward or backwards without the pedals uh, moving. Uh, some other things we run is grip tape on the tubes. This works really good for doing trick riding. You put your feet on top, keeps your feet from slipping. Also on the seat here, I'm running some rivets, not for comfort, but uh, we put our feet up here and it keeps your feet from slipping. So anyway, these are little, little things we do to our bikes. Um, a bike like this would retail for around $800 in the States. And we're selling these here. And it, they're not all this expensive. It just depends on what your taste is.